popular narrative in our culture today is that there is conflict between science and the Christian faith, that the latest advances in science make belief in God unreasonable, make belief in the Bible impossible. Is that really the case? I'm joined today by Dr. Matt Carlson, who is a PhD biochemist, a high school physics teacher, and a Christian to answer that question. Matt, I'm just curious, what would you say to somebody who says there's conflict between science and Christianity? I would say they're wrong in a very gentle, nice way, right? Uh, the way I see it is that um, science explains the universe. We're trying to explain the uh, universe through science. God made the universe, right? So then anytime God is referring to the universe, he's going to get it right, right? So I, I'm not afraid of God making a mistake in science somewhere because he knows how it worked. So you're saying then uh, conflict uh, or the perception of conflict may be more in terms of how we would interpret the creation, how we would interpret the words of Scripture. Yeah, I think that that, that comes down more to people uh, trying to get too involved on on uh, on the the little smaller picture of what what's in the Scripture and and the broader strokes of of what Scripture talks about is very congruent with what science is. I mean, uh, I look back in the history of science. So many great scientists were Christian. You know, I even had a little list here like Pascal, Boyle, you know, I'm a chemist, I throw him out there, Isaac Newton, Kepler, Euler, um, you know, Galileo, who gets a totally short straw, right, because the Pope liked Galileo, right? He sent the Jesuits, who are, again, very good scientists, Chinese, were like, these guys are awesome scientists, right? So he sent, uh, he sent the Jesuits to check Galileo out, and, you know, they were like, nope, sounds good, sounds good to us, sounds good to us. So the one problem was, as I understand it again, there's a little political stuff going on. The Pope's brother did not like Galileo, and so there was a big stir, and eventually Galileo got in trouble for writing a little bit too many religious documents, not so much scientific. But again, Galileo, you know, pretty much a Christian, you know, and, and they're, they're trying to understand the universe and how cool the universe is from the assumption that God made it, so therefore it's probably going to be pretty cool. Yeah. So how has your uh, faith impacted your work as a scientist? Well, it's my profession, right? And so anyone's faith needs to impact their profession. You know, do you, uh, are you an exemplar of your faith at work? Do you, uh, do you show love to your coworkers? Do you serve them? Are you more worried about yourself and how you look at work or are you trying to make other people look better? Um, do you, uh, you know, do you pray for people at work? Do you, do you really have a concern for those around you or are you, like, are you all about how do I make myself look good? Yeah. Right, and so that's what it comes back to. Have you ever made uh, career decisions or professional decisions based on your faith? That's tough, right, because faith is such a, a very personal side of, uh, of my personality, of, of who I am, and, and it's kind of hard to draw a line, well, this is faith, this is not faith. I could say that uh, I consider family to be very important. That's why after a PhD from Caltech, I didn't go and become a professor. I became uh, a teacher because I had the flexibility to help us raise a family. I also have time to work with the youth group at church, you know, and, and, and these young people uh, is very important to me. And in as much as I feel called to, to, to share my life with young people and, and point them towards God, um, you know, that's... I consider that all part of my profession, and, and faith has impacted that, um, but it's impacted every aspect of my life. 